Welcome back to the newsroom. The conflict between the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and the Labour Party has taken another turn as members of the NLC on Wednesday picketed the headquarters of the party in the Utako area of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. The union members, led by his acting chairman of the Political Commission of the Congress, Teofilos Unduboaku, demanded the immediate resignation of Julius Abure as the national chairman of the party on the ground that he was not properly elected as the national chairman of the Labour Party. The Minister for Solid Minerals Development, Dele Alake, has canvassed for legislative support that will entrench local value addition in the mineral sector, asserting that it will generate massive employment and beneficial to mineral endowed communities. The Minister explained that value addition and mineral processing, as a key point of the Ministry's seven point agenda, offers enormous benefits to a mineral endowed country like Nigeria by providing jobs and maximizing natural resources. The House of Representatives has directed the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to provide urgent relief materials to communities, schools, and individuals affected by a recent rainstorm in the Akwingba, Wamba community of Nasarawa State. The House, acting in response to a motion moved by Jeremiah Umaru, directed, directed NEMA to promptly commence the reconstruction of destroyed schools and the rehabilitation of those affected by the rainstorm in the country. President Bola Tinumbu has set aside 340 billion naira for power infrastructure upgrade across the country. This was revealed by the Chief of Staff to the President Femi Bajambi Amila during the commissioning of the 220 MVA substation at Randall Avenue in Tsuriliri, Lagos State. According to him, the fund was enmarked in the 2024 budget, assuring Nigerians of Tinumbu's commitment to reliable power supply in the country. And on business, Britain's annual inflation rate fell more than expected in February, according to official data on Wednesday, fueling speculations that the Bank of England will start cutting interest rates in the coming months. Inflation reached 3.4% last month, the lowest level since September 2021, after eating 4.0% in January, according to the Office for National Statistics. On the foreign scene, the European Union EU has agreed for a provisional deal to cap duty-free agricultural imports from Ukraine. The agreement was reached on Wednesday as member states and lawmakers extended a policy of tariff exemption on many Ukrainian farm products. However, after farmers engaged in protests across the bloc against the cheap imports that were hurting their own sales, limits were placed on the duty-free import of some items. And on sports, Nigeria Football Federation, NFF, has appointed Fini the judge as the interim coach of the country's senior football team, Super Eagles. Judge is a former Super Eagles player and coach of Enyimba FC of ABBA. This was announced on X via the team's verified handle, disclosing that Fini the judge is saddled with the task of leading the team for their two forthcoming matches against Ghana and Mali. And that's it on the news at this moment. Many thanks for joining us. I'm Okbayemi Uwoshemi. Bye for now.